Hi, today I will show you how I've made this 3D printed dragon trophy with LEDs inside, which turn on when it is dark. I'm Medic 3D and I do a lot of 3D printing related stuff. This time I made this cool Swamp Dragon trophy by Rafasan from my mini factory. I added LEDs inside and they are activated when it is dark. Let me show you how it's done. But first, just a friendly reminder that you can watch my videos on Odyssey for free without any commercials. Due to the recent changes made by YouTube, it is possible that you will see ads on my videos even though I have them disabled. Just letting you know that there is a great and ad-free alternative with almost all your favorite creators. Go check it out. And now, let's go! While I was removing supports from teeth of this dragon, I've noticed that the throat of the dragon is connected to this hole in the bottom. So it is possible to put inside LEDs and make the dragon shine. This is standard 5mm LED, but unfortunately it is too big to put inside the hole, so I need to find another solution. So I bought this small SMD LED, 5 of them, and they will surely fit inside. In order to make LED works, I also bought those SMD resistors and obviously we need a power supply. This would be enough to make the dragon shine, but it would be nice if the LEDs would turn on and off automatically depending on the light level. In order to switch on and off the lights depending on the light level, I bought this phototransistor and using some additional components it would be enough to make this possible. But first thing first, let's check if the LED are working. This is a breadboard. Those two resistors have combined the same value as those small resistors. And for the testing I will use this big LED, so I can put those aside. The connection is pretty straightforward. You just put inside the resistors and the LED using the longer leg to the resistor. Next we can use the batteries to light the LED. The red wire goes to this side and the black goes to this side and the LED is on and off and on and off. This is pretty straightforward. What's also important is to use the MOSFET to drive all the five LEDs. So let's put it inside. This is just kind of the switch. Now we have almost the same circuit as before. If I touch the black wire to the LED, it will turn on. But I would like to use the MOSFET as a switch. So I will connect the black wire to this side of MOSFET. By touching the middle leg of the MOSFET, to the red wire I can turn the LED on and by touching to the black wire I can turn it off. Now using phototransistor and a pull-up resistor I should be able to turn on and off the LED depending on the light level detected by the phototransistor. The resistor goes to the plus side and the longer leg of phototransistor goes to the resistor and the shorter leg goes to the ground like so and the orange wire goes between the phototransistor and the pull-up resistor now by covering the phototransistor I should be able to activate the LED As you can see the LED is on, and now it's off. The test circuit works, now it's time to design the base so I can hide all the components inside and then we can put everything together. I've created this base, which is the original base but a little bit higher and with a slot for the battery pack which goes right here and it's slash on the outside. Also there is a place for phototransistor here 
and it suits perfectly. So now it's just a matter of assembling everything together. I will start by soldering all the LEDs to the resistors, add some cables, wire it through this hole, then wire the phototransistor for this hole and connect everything to the battery pack. And then hopefully everything will work. And a small change of plans, I will not use this small SMD resistor, instead I will use those bigger ones, because it's really hard to properly solder wire to this little pad here. Now I have the LED subassembly ready. Now it's time to make the photo transistor subassembly. Now I have the LEDs ready and the photo transistor is mounted in the base, so I can make a final check if everything works as expected. As you can see, everything works. If I cover the phototransistor, the LED are on and otherwise they are off. Now it's a good moment to take a quick measurement how much current the circuit is taking. When LEDs are on, the circuit is taking 0.7 milliamp and without, it's like nothing. So it's free micro amps when the LEDs are off and out of range and 0.7 milliamp when the LEDs are on. So then we can calculate quite easily how long the battery pack will last. I will make the calculation and show it somewhere on the screen. Now everything works, it's time to put it neatly together inside the base and everything is done. Okay, so this is the connection between the battery pack and the LEDs. Now I go to the red wire to the phototransistor via the resistor. And now it is just a matter of connecting the MOSFET to the LEDs and to the battery pack and to the photoresistor and that should be it. So clearly I've made a mistake because it is on all the time. Now everything is soldered and it should work. Let's check. Okay. So it works as expected. Now I can make it pretty. Now everything is ready, I will use some hot glue to secure everything in place. Now the base is ready and it's working, so I can just find the proper screws, mount the dragon to the base and the project is done. I 
I couldn't find any proper screws to mount the dragon to the base, even my random bit shame jar did not help. So the easiest solution is to print two pins and use some CA glue and now I'm ready for the final assembly. And now it's ready to be hang on the wall, you just need a screw and that's it. See my other videos that are right here waiting just for you and remember to check out odyssey.com for ad free videos of your favorite creators. Let's support community driven and open source digital media library. See you there.